Technicolor has always been one of my personal champions from the very beginning of my career. Um, they've made a tremendous transition from being the film-based company they'd always been to being now a digital player. And the people at Technicolor have generally been superb, not just in their personal ways, but in their technical savvy and in their, their drive to do the right things and make the image the best image that we can achieve to realize what I'm looking for, which very often can be sometimes uh, difficult to put into words. Sometimes it's more of a feeling than uh, something you can really intellectualize. And uh, the folks at Technicolor have always been good about tapping into that. I mean, everything that we do here as cinematographers is, is rooted towards translating something from here into a space where everyone else can share it on some level. Therefore, everything that we use, everything at our disposal is just a tool. I, this is the way you look at these things. They come and go, they evolve, they change, but they're just means to an end. The idea is what can these things do? How do you use them? How do you control them? And then the people that help you get there, which today has become more important than ever, seeing as so much of our, our work is done in post. The, so much of what we try to reach and achieve is done in post. Technicolor has been on the scene for a hundred years, which is pretty hard to imagine when you think about it. But you look through the history of cinematography, and Technicolor has been there basically from the beginning. The history of cinematography is a history of change, and it's a history of evolution. And you look from day one, whenever a cinematographer wanted to achieve a certain effect and didn't have the tools to do it, well, in the old days, they go out in the garage and hammer something out and build it themselves. Well, as time moved on, these things became institutionalized, and you had great companies and great manufacturers helping us to move forward and push the ball up the field. And I think Technicolor has always been at the head of that pack. I mean, you go back and look at the great, great films that, that are in the history of, of cinematography and the history of movies just in general. Um, so many of them were Technicolor productions. And then as one technology started to phase out. The new ones came in, and Technicolor was right there with that as well.